Welcome back. Later on, at the tail end of this uh, segment, we'll be looking at which way Rift Valley. That is uh, the story that is having prominence in virtually all the dailies today. And of course, I'll be asking my uh, director, Robert, to play for us a clip shortly. But before then, the standard has a slightly different tweak. Actually, it doesn't have any story about the Rift Valley tussle. It says, the NY's probe now takes a new twist as a bit to block why Guru uh, has been hatched. And it's causing... Uh, uh, a split among members of parliament. House team has uh, differed on recommendations to surcharge Anwai Guru for NYS billions and bar her from seeking elective office. Now, two Ruto allies also, uh, also feature in the contest. Now, sharp differences have emerged in a parliamentary committee over plans to bar key suspects in the National Youth Service scandal from holding public office. Mushmo, I start with you on this. Mm. Is this the way to go? Um. And we wait so that... Uh, one is proven guilty or otherwise before we make a move like this. I, I want to say last week we also released names in, in Senate uh, of uh, county governors and uh, officers in the counties that the auditor general uh, could not uh, confirm whether money was lost or not. Mm -hmm. Senate because they don't have investigative powers decided to say we we we, we send it to IBC and uh, CID and so on to confirm that does not mean those governors and officers are guilty or innocent or or innocent so we should avoid including this one you know this is <coughs> part of parliament and where I, where where I am as a vice chair is also part of senate, senate. we cannot go that direction where you want to say it's bar somebody unless you have proved somebody guilty so the, op the, the arm of government that does that is not parliament. Parliament may, if, if you have been given the evidence by, 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 by the relevant arm, say IBC or, uh, or ESCC or, 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 or even the, uh, or the police or so on, that's when we can now take firm action action mm -hmm. but 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 to go that way no so we shouldn't uh, we shouldn't bar waikuru and others unless we have found them guilty yes. I, I i agree with prof you can't uh, you can't hang somebody unless you have credible evidence and has gone through the different investigative agencies uh, but i just have two comments on this story mm -hmm. on, uh, on 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 waikuru mm -hmm. uh, the first comment is you know uh, when my guru was the CS of devolution, mm -hmm. she said her doctor advised her to step down from that position and seek later duties. Yeah, uh, some of us assumed that it was because of the NYS saga, and the opposition had actually put a lot of pressure on her to resign because of the 791 million shillings that disappeared from NYS. And you, we all know the story how money was withdrawn in sacks and all of that, and it was a big scandal. Uh, but we gave this Waiguru the benefit of the doubt until she decided to go and run for the seat of governor, which now you're moving from being a CS, reporting to a head of government, to being a head of your own government, which is even now not lighter duties, it's more duties. Uh, so we can only assume that Waiguru stepped down from being a CS because of the NYS. Uh, Interesting whatever. twist. Now my question is, how do you step down from one public office because of some scandal, and then you seek another public office before that scandal has been concluded. That's one. O although, in her case, she stepped down for on health grounds. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Maybe she'll produce yeah. a, rec a document that shows that the doctor has yeah. given a clean bill of health. Maybe it's just the inference of uh, the health grounds she stepped down on. Now, all of a sudden, she's so re-energized, she can even go for harder duties, not lighter duties. So it, it, it brings suspicion. We are not doubting her, but it just brings suspicion, those actions. Uh, the second thing, I, I guess, which is my most important point, is the Constitution, Chapter 6, on ethics and integrity. It's very clear on the parameters of a public servant, what a public servant should <coughs> do and should not do, and when a public servant should be allowed to run for office. I think if we stuck to Chapter 6, and that has been our country's biggest failure, of ignoring completely chapter 6. If we start to chapter 6 of the Constitution, we'll have been able to solve a lot of these issues because it's very clear on how, on how to operate as a public service. One uh, Waiguru can uh, run for an office in this country, any office in this country, including the presidency, because uh, the, 
the, the parameters what really gives the qualification for running for the office is not uh, your past if you've not been uh, in any way incarcerated the park in this particular case who are my fellows in parliament are the people who are really disappointing me here because there's no way you can have a discussion in a committee and then you when it comes to the report writing we have you have other ideas where you're split right in the middle about the issues you already discussed you've already agreed on a position that means the, the, why, the discussions why, are not objective why no. why the change of heart somewhere in between why not have uh, a particular one one particular position on the other hand i have just read what uh, google has said about uh, this particular case that the committee has not finished the investigation they have not finished the report writing and therefore I want to believe that uh, the journalist who came up with this uh, must be having an inside information on Precisely. In exactly what is happening there. And therefore they need to come out very clear and tell us. One, they are not able to, they don't have the powers to be able to block Waiguru from buying. But they, they can, can only recommend. And they recommend to the ACC and recommend to, to the, uh, the, 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 the office that actually does the investigation. Mm -hmm. Uh, the Tobiko's office. Mm -hmm. that, those are the people they can actually recommend to. However, it is critical, as, as uh, Dr. Tari says, that we do not allow this uh, public prosecution by, by the press, by the politicians, on their fellow politicians. There has to be, really, these are the grounds, and it should be based on the law, anchored on the law, chapter 6. If she's not been taken, the case is not completed in court and concluded, and that she's been found guilty. There's no business. There's no, there's no real gr ground saying that she should be barred. Mm -hmm. The people to bar should be the agencies like IEBC. The court? It should be the court. could be EACC. Otherwise, if that does not happen, then Waiguru will be on the ballot. Or IEBC on we, recommendation on, of the parliamentary of committee. Of course. Because if it does, not happen, committee has it does not happen, Waiguru will be on the, on the ballot paper and we can't do nothing about mm -hmm. it. Now, move on, gentlemen. Why, which way for Rift Valley? And I will start with the smaller picture of the situation in Rift Valley, then I will ask my director, Robert, to give us a clip. In West Pokot County, uh, the star is having their county watch, and they say the governor race will be between Kanu and Jubilee. There's one, John Lonyangapuo, mm -hmm. and there's one, Mr. Kachapin. Mm -hmm. How do you think it will go? I start with you, Jonathan. <laughs> <laughs> I know you are NASA. I don't You're neither Jubilee nor Khan. I don't know too much about the West Pokot uh, politics, mm -hmm. but it's, it's interesting that both parties are supporting the same presidential candidate, but when they come down here, they're going to be having their own uh, nominations. Not nominations, they're going to be having different parties mm -hmm. going to the ballot. As theirs is actually not nomination. Mm -hmm. Yes, okay. they are going to be going to the ballot. So, uh, from my thinking today, is that Kanu is very dominant in West Pokot. What is the political because, effect? Hold on, because the only Kanu county government today is in West Pokot. Uh, now, the governor has defected. We have the good professor and senator going for that seat. Uh, the, deputy has has the deputy governor has defected. The deputy governor has defected. But Kanu seems to be more dominant in that area. Only the people of West Pokot will be able to tell us. Now, now I'm asking you really about, about the political effects. These are two parties. Yes. Supporting the same presidential candidate, yes. but having their own candidates on the ground yes. in the next level of the biggest seat. I'll give you a very good example of what happened in Nairobi, and that is probably what's going to happen in the Rift Valley. In Nairobi, we did the exact same thing, where we had Wiper, Ford Kenya, and ODM mm. field different candidates for MCA and parliamentary, and then all of them were supporting uh, Raila and Kalonzo for the presidency. The net effect on that is out of the 12 or 13 parliamentary seats would have gotten, we got seven. So we lost six. And out of the 59 or 60 MCA seats would have gotten, we got 43. So we lost 17. That's the net effect. You lose when you divide your vote. Uh, so in the Rift Valley, which was supposed to be a bedrock, of uh, our stronghold of Jubilee with uh, Chama Chamashinani and Kanu going to get a stake against Jubilee. The only loser in that, I can tell you for sure, is going to be Jubilee. So you're saying in West Pokot there are chances that it will neither be Longanyangapu or Kachapin. 
Well, I don't be know. A third force. I don't know if there is a third force. I don't know if there is a third force. But in the story of Nairobi, we saw that happen. We fought amongst ourselves and our opponents. Actually, actually, uh, actually uh, much yeah, one, I'm, I'm very happy that uh, all the parties are supporting Uhuru Kenyatta. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have no no doubt at the top that he will still come up, or rather, they will still have all the votes for Uhuru Kenyatta in one basket. That's not, not in dispute. However, I, I want to dwell particularly on the issue of uh, West Pokot. Uh, this is where we normally say, Bidi Yako Itakuokoa. Mm -hmm. Because really, in this particular case, it's not about the party. It's about uh, what the real candidates stand for. And I, I want to say this, not because uh, my, my friend Professor is seated here. Uh, I remember there was, uh, there was uh, in the year 2014, a ranking for the senators. And I want to remind you, this man was senator number one in Kenya. And that time, he was not even speaking for the government. And I remember it was even in the serious loggerheads of the government. It's even better now he's saying he's supporting Uru Kenyatta. That time he was only speaking for the Pokot people. Mm -hmm. And having been ranked number one and the things that his people said about him, and therefore it means it is really personal effort and the interaction with his people or the relationship he has with the people. which has nothing to do with the party. Mm -hmm. So on that particular case, and I would say definitely there will be no third force in there. It either be Kachapin or Lanyankopon and definitely going by that ranking that time stop it hold it right there he might be oh, hold the it right there hold it right there <laughs> Moshmua John Lanyankopo you are a front runner in West Pokot what are the issues in West Pokot first of all let me uh, correct this West Pokot has uh, two parties now d dominant Kanu is the party 2013 we beat our rifle URP and number three was ODM uh, this time, uh, URP went to Jubilee Party, and uh, they became aggressive by by wooing and buying the sitting uh, MPs and the uh, governor. Mm -hmm. But we have stood there. What we have agreed is that uh, Kanu will harvest all the votes for President Uru Kenyatta, mm -hmm. and hence his deputy. Jubilee will also do the same for Uru Kenyatta and hence his deputy. For that reason, you will expect the county of choice, the county that will give the highest percentage of votes combined because of the aggressiveness that we are going to engage will be West Pokot. And I want to encourage and I pity my colleagues who killed their party. We should have used all our individual parties to harvest because a strong candidate will do all he can to make sure that the top benefits. So in West Pokot, that is where we are. What you also don't know is that um, most of the people that are now standing against me were my, uh, the people I support. How is it that you are not able to harness all the votes in different... You see, you see we, did, we did that uh, also. We were able to harness all the votes and that's why when we lost some MCA and MP seats, uh, uh, Raila, who was our presidential candidate for court then, got more votes than President Uhuru in Nairobi. So what he says so is really right. practical. It's true, but yeah. now what Professor is saying is they're going to harness all the votes for the President Uhuru Kenyatta, that's fine. But he has to be careful about uh, his seat because another candidate will be the third force that can become the governor of West Pokot. So as you uh, start uh, doing your sibling rivalry between Kanu and, and Jubilee. Jubilee. Nasa itapitia uko katikati. <laughs> <laughs> we don't have a uh, Kalongso style in West Pokot. Uh, they, they, even Nasa they know. They know that West Pokot <laughs> is just a friendly place where you can go and greet people. But for them to fill the candidate, and unless, unless they, they, they don't know gym, they, they, they the gymnastic on the ground. Mm -hmm. So West Pokot, we need to assure people, actually Kanu is going to take everything. And uh, that's why we decided to, I mean, that's why the president and the, the top leadership reached us to work together. Just like we did 2013, I want to tell Kenyans, West Pokot, Kanu, voted for Uru Kenyatta 2013. Have you reaped the benefits of the county? As to whether we have reaped the benefit or not, that is a subject of another day. But we still stand for the ideals we saw in President Uhuru Kenyatta 2013. And his deputy William Ruto. The, 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 the obstacles we saw the, along the way, 
cannot stop you from focusing to go ahead. So you still stand for the ideologies you stood for, for Uhuru Kenyatta and his deputy William Ruto? Yes, and um, you know deputy, deputy is chosen by one person. So <laughs> if he still wants to maintain deputy, uh, my, my, my brother and friend William Ruto, it's up to him. So I do, we, let's not lose We talk about Gidero, we don't talk about Mweke here. Mweke is a, is a loyal and astute <laughs> supporter of of uh, Kidero and you have had him is that, we have is been that here true? together and uh, yeah, no, for that reason, is that true well, are you really there to be seen and not to be heard there's, there's a misconception that deputy <coughs> governors are not elected uh, we are on the ballot box and you take Evans Kidero Jonathan Mweke to me that is an election and we bring uh, part of the votes to the to to uh, to to the table. That's why even as GBD was getting the senator and the govern and the and, and the women rep in Nairobi, uh, Dr. Kidero and myself got the governorship because, because of that combination. ODM votes. I brought wiper votes. Our votes combined were able to go ahead. So, so professor, there's a lot of value in the deputy. He says it's governor. not just about. You see, I, mean, just about. I need to correct my brother. Uh, People are voting to finally at the top, isn't it? For your case. There was, a combination. Have one lead. Yeah, there was a combination of Raila and Kalonzo. Mm -hmm. And you would expect those constituencies in that order, those communities and those friends that support those two individuals. Some now came through you as they went up. But I'm saying the focus today, as we know, I know he, I mean, he, you, he, he can stand for anything, but uh, for the time that we know, is the governor that you normally see. Uh, and you see their name. The back stops with the government. Yes, and uh, let's not blame. I think there's a problem. Yes. I think uh, the, the sibling rivalry in this valley is playing out very clearly. We will be, we'll be taking. That is why you're trying to be very evasive. We'll be taking on in, that in, in just in, a minute. In, in terms of what William Ruto is delivering for the presidency of, of uh, Uru Kenyatta in the Jubilee. Actually, hold it right there. If my director Robert can hear me, please let's just have a clip about the situation in Rift Valley now. On Thursday, the Independence Party Kanu offered its support for President Uhuru Kenyatta's re-election, albeit in carefully chosen words that didn't feature the deputy president. The Jubilee Party has consistently sold the Uhuru Ruto ticket as one that would see Ruto succeed Kenyatta in 2022 should the latter win this year's contest. <laughs> Baringo Senator Gideon Moy now seems keen on disrupting that arrangement. <coughs> Matopo at Leo 2022, 2022, Migi, Takenmoe, Oswaili, Kutangulia, Tioku, Onaino, Salamo, Oge. In January, during the funeral of former nominated MP Makto, Moe took on the deputy president, accusing him of misusing the Rift Valley vote. Reminiscent of his sentiments, Moe now urging President Uhuru Kenyatta to seek for his own vote in the Rift Valley for his re-election instead of relying on his agents. <laughs> Senator Moy's remarks come in the wake of meetings between the Kenyatta and Moy families, the latest one being between the retired President Daniel Moy and President Uhuru Kenyatta, of whose subject matter remains unknown, even though shortly after the meeting, Kano announced its backing of Kenyatta re-election bid. <laughs> Senator Moy spoke while in the company of Bumet Governor Isaac Ruto and other Kano leaders during the launch of former Inspector General of Police David Kimayo's senatorial bid for Elgeo Maracuit County. The leaders poking holes into the current leadership. <laughs> Maybe Now, maybe I cannot advise you to vote for anyone at the moment. I cannot advise. I'm unlikely to vote for them. So I'm unlikely to advise you. Let us first to watch how much we are to be in Fukara about the city Kenya is to town one and Speaking in Kericho in the company of the deputy president, however, Energy Cabinet Secretary Charles Keter led the region in expressing support for the DP and Jubilee. Lakini nataka kusema your excellency we support you and the president 100%.
Even though the region may be mobilized to back the current administration, in this year's election, it may form the basis for political realignment ahead of the 2022 debacle. <laughs> Samgituku Public Press News. Thank you very much, uh, Robert Samgituku, with a very comprehensive report there. So what you're saying about... Uh, whether your alignment in 2013 has delivered or not is subject to another uh, environment is not what some of these people are saying. They're asking questions. Did you reap anything, even as Kanu now says they're going to support Uru Kenyatta? And clearly, not William Ruto. Let me tell you, <coughs> by supporting a candidate, finally a presidential candidate, we as Kenyans support using any means uh, some of them support a different candidate who some total of votes don't make up to final tally to become number one all of some uh, in West Pokot we support Uru Kenyatta properly to the extent that he, he won that's why we have a Kanu County government there there is no URP so I want to make it clear here when we are saying that William Ruto one man show decided to bring votes from Lokichokyo to Loitoktok one man. Why didn't he deliver everything then in West Pokot from number one to number zero? So are you entrenching what these people are saying? That Kanu is supporting Uhuru Kenyatta, <coughs> so I beg your pardon, and, and not William Ruto? We are supporting Uhuru Kenyatta. <laughs> why, why does William Ruto come in? I think we are trying to bring problems here by, uh, by bring uh, division and conflict in Rift Valley. We are not supporting Uru William Ruto because he's not running. What is wrong with you people? But uh, that's no. part of the president. No. Whether it's going to be... Uh, have you, that now we have Kidero and, and Mweke. Has Kidero declared he's supporting you? I mean, he's going to go with you in 2018. I mean, 2017, 2020. August, as uh, he's a deputy. Yes, he The has. focus right now, I've never heard in the newspaper. The focus <coughs> is this. He declared right here in this studio. Whether he uh, said well, that, was, uh, that was one day. What we have been reading about Kidero, Kenneth, and, uh, and another one called Songo, and many others competing there. We are not talking about deputies. Uh -huh. Let's listen here. And that's why we have a problem with uh, people trying to, to bring issue between Kanu and uh, our deputy president William Ruto. Talking about 2022, why is 2022 here? 2022 is not an issue. The issue we have at hand, by the grace of God, is we saw this current obstacle we have. Presidential election and election of 2017, August. When we are done, that's when we now see whether he's going even to offer his candidature. Why are you trying to become the same for the reason that you are number two, you can become this? So what, what yeah. does your party leader, Gideon Moe, mean when he says, Kutangulia Sio Kufika, it's not about 2022? What I, does he mean exactly? I was in that meeting, and now I have a problem with media here. If you want to display exactly <laughs> what was taking place, you should show the whole thing. Why do you want to go and cut a clip? <laughs> and then you now say, this is what he said, you want to bring conflict? Now I realize why we have a problem with William Ruto. And then now Gideon Moy. It's he, a creation he, of the media. Yes, <laughs> because there were many things we discussed. And then it was an advice to our people. So, you know, why have you not announced your candidature for 2022? You, then he said, no. And by the way, how do you know that we will be there? And by the way, how do you know I will want it? For him to say kutangulia ku, sio kufika, it means kuna mtu wa metangulia. Yes. Who is it? Yes. Who is it? Mm. Yes. I don't know who is it. It is very, very clear that the whenever you have a formation mm -hmm. of a government mm -hmm. in the new dispensation, like uh, my friend, uh, the, uh, the son of Dr. Terry put it. You have to have a partnership. Today, if you pull Wiper out of the Kidero formula, he will go home. I want to tell you that clearly. What my brother here is refusing to accept, which is denial, is that William Ruto has a crazy following in Rift Valley and he is seen and is actually as William a leader. Ruto as William Ruto is a leader because every community has a leader even if it's by perception that he's a leader of the college and people and the community and he brought them to Uru Kenyatta to form the government of the day uh, through, through URP so you're saying the, the votes of 
the challenge in I mean the Rift Valley region are in somebody's pocket. It's not really in somebody's pocket. You know, you have to have a leader who will, who will lead you. And I want to I, I want to prove this to you. In 2007, when William Ruto was with uh, Raila Odinga, where did the Rift Valley vote? They voted with the Raila Odinga. Mm. When he bolted out and came to join hands with Uru Kenyatta, they voted for Uru Kenyatta. This, the sibling rivalry that is there between the people who want to succeed William Ruto or don't want to cooperate with him, let it not be mixed up to look at, uh, to have a perception that the, William Ruto does not have any influence. And that is why they are coming out very clearly that their biggest problem is not even the influence he has at the moment, is their fear that he might, uh, he might eventually become the president of the So country. they here you mean Kano? Of course, definitely. Hold it the right there. Jonathan, the, I'll give you a the, chance the, when the, we come back after a short commercial yes. break. Okay. Uh, uh, viewers, we will be right back after this.